What's up party people, Android Stud here, and today I have a comparison video between the Pocophone F1. As you all know, I'll be covering this phone legendary device of 2018 right here on Android Stud on the channel, and it has been an awesome device up against the new kid on the block. That's right, the Pixel 3a XL. So I wanted to do a comparison video, so if you're thinking about getting either of these devices, you kind of get a feel of what you're getting into, what each device, the, offers what each device lacks, that kind of thing, which one is better at doing certain things. Now, the first thing that I'll talk about is the price. Now, this when it came out was around 349, 300 maybe in India. So now you could probably get it for under 300 bucks. So it's a really good price for what you get specs wise. Now this comes in at 479 from Google. You could also pick it up on Amazon. You could pick it up on T-Mobile. Verizon, a lot of different carriers, and you can get it at 479. You can get the little brother for 399, but it's a smaller screen and a smaller battery, so you got to get into that. Now these, the Pocophone F1 comes in 64 gigabyte or 128 gigabyte, but it also has expandable storage up to 256 gigabytes. So that's a great um, bargain if you're getting this. This is also dual SIM where this is single SIM and you only get a 64 gigabyte variant. They don't get any bigger and you can't, it doesn't have extent expandable storage. So you have to deal with that. Now colors, this bad boy right here comes in a black. This is the blue. I put a skin on it as you can see here on it also comes in a red. So I put the skin so I could have the red, but Shout out to Munchie, he had the red one, but this is the blue as you can see there and also comes in a black. Now this comes in a black, which this obviously is the black. <laughs> you could also get it in a white or a purplish color. If you wanna go that route, you can do that. Now, as far as um, design and materials, these are both basically a plastic or polycarbonate um, build. Uh, I put a skin on this as you can see here to protect a little bit, but very durable plastic uh, devices. Um, you know, they don't have that glass uh, ceramic feel on them. Sorry about that, uh, on these devices, but they are very well made. And for the price, you can't complain um, when you're comparing these devices. They both are partly carbonate, carbonate uh, plastic devices, but they're very well made and very well done. Now, as far as the displays are concerned, this is a 6.1 display. You got an IPS LCD 1080p display, which is really nice. Um, no complaints here, but it is an LCD. I like the OLED display 1080p here on the Pixel 3 AXL myself. I think it's just a, it's a nicer looking display. It's newer technology too. It came out this year. so. The colors are going to look a little better, but as far as, as you can see, if you could tell any difference on both of these, uh, you guys tell me if you could tell the difference. But the colors are a little deeper here on the OLED display than they are in the LCD. These are a little more brighter, a little more stark, uh, if you want to call it that. Now, as far as the engine that powers both of these, this has the Snapdragon 845, has the big horsepower on it six gigabytes of RAM on it. You could also get an eight gigabyte RAM version if you want to zoop up the specs. Uh, this has the Snapdragon 670 Snapdragon processor, four gigabytes of RAM. You cannot zoop it up. You cannot put a carburetor on it. <laughs> you cannot make it go any faster. It goes as fast as it can. Now, as far as the benchmarks on this, I did do a benchmark it. As you can see, it's at 157 on this one. And then on the Poco phone, you're coming in at, yeah, 293,000. So the Poco phone smokes the Pixel 3a XL, obviously, because it has a Snapdragon 845. So um, when it comes to um, the benchmarks, <laughs> the Poco phone is like a Ferrari. This is more like a Volkswagen. But as far as battery is concerned, you're looking at a 4,000 milliamp battery on both of these phones. Excellent battery life. I've been really impressed with the Pixel 3 AXL's battery. It lasts forever. As good as the Pocophone F1 also has a really good battery, but it's been a little off with some of the updates. It's been draining the battery. I know a lot of subscribers have been complaining about the battery. Now, 
as far as the oh the the uh icons here these icons i got them from the google play store if you want to check them out they are called let it be i'm also using nova launcher on both of these phones so um also the clock widget is from custom widgets kwgt widgets and it is the stock analog clock if you want to check it out um very easy but i'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can find it now let's get into the cameras um as far as the cameras are concerned on the back you've got dual cameras here on the poco phone you have the 12 megapixel portrait mode all that good stuff no wide angle on the front you got the 20 megapixel front facing camera and on the pixel you get the single shooter here the 12 megapixel and then an 8 megapixel here on the front now as far as cameras are concerned the poco phone f1's camera is not as good as the um is not as good as the pixel camera pixel camera is the best camera right now in the game this camera is better than any camera that is out right now better than huawei better than samsung better than apple the poco phone camera is really really good i've been very impressed with some of the pictures that i get from uh the poco phone uh f1 that's a picture of my dog close up but these pictures come out phenomenal there's a picture at night right there uh at my work but the uh ooh, shout out to oneplus the 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 uh the cameras on these phones are excellent uh, but the pixel takes the cake it has the portrait mode it's just phenomenal so i gotta go i gotta give it to the pixel for the camera because it's excellent 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 no wide angle selfies on this no wide angle rear so you don't have the big boy cameras, but you do have good cameras. And also on the Poco phone, you can load up the Google camera on here. You can side load it and it comes, uh, the, ca the pictures come out phenomenal. As a matter of fact, I have it on here. Um, I haven't even used it, but uh, because this is a different ROM that I'm using on the phone right now, but the cameras come out really good on here. So I have no issue uh, as far as pictures on either phone, but the Pixel takes the cake. Now software, um, Let's talk about software and special features. The fingerprint display reader you have on the back, you have a rear fingerprint reader, which is excellent. Also here on the Poco phone, it's really fast. Now the Poco phone has face unlock with um, IR infrared uh, face unlock, which is really good. The uh, Pixel 3a has the fingerprint display reader on the back. Now they both have fast charging, so they zip, they zip and roll through everything they both pack android 9 uh, pi so you have no issues although on the pixel 3 axa you'll get more updates on this quickly and more f and faster now me ui this is running android pi but it's running a skin called me ui now me ui is a different kind of skin it's you know it's got some different features on it but i like it now this will like i said will update quicker because it's google's phone this uh they've been updating this device very fast and you can follow my channel for all the updates all the different things there's a lot of betas now you could put a custom rom that will make it look like a pixel 3a uh, pixel 3a xl like the pixel experience you could do um a lot of different roms on here that make it look very stock if you want to go that route you can root and then rom this phone and make it look like the pixel 3a xl i did that with the pixel i made this look like a pixel 3 and um, it ran really, 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 really good. Now, this is dual SIM, this is single SIM, so you get that extra SIM there. Now, as far as 4G LTE, the Pixel 3a XL runs flawless on T-Mobile, AT&T in the States. On this one, not so much. You only get probably 3G HSPA Plus at the most, so your download speeds are gonna be slower on this device if you're in the United States. I hate to tell you that. Pocophone, if you're listening for the Pocophone F2, zoop it up the specs, all right? And on this one, like I said, you get it. No, now, no wireless charging on either of these bad boys. No water protection, no water certification. So don't go swimming with either of these. They both have the headphone jack. So shout out to both of these manufacturers for including the headphone jack there. That is awesome there. Now, the not notifications on here, you get ambient display on this, the... Uh, poke, poke, uh, poke. The Pixel 3 AXL, as you see, get on your screen. On this one, you do not get that. So you're going to have to decide what you want to do. Now, which phone is better, in my opinion, for the money? Look, 
The Pixel 3a XL has the better camera. So if you're in the camera, get this one. If you want speed and performance, then get the Poco phone. But if you're in the States, you're gonna suffer with connections. So overall, I would have to say it's a toss up because they both offer awesome, awesome, awesome features on both devices. The prices are a little better on the Poco phone right now. If you wanna wait for the Poco phone F2, it may just be a killer cause it's gonna have the Snapdragon 845 and hopefully it has LG, L, LTE in the States. Listen, man, that's gonna do it for now. I'm Android Stud. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram at Android Stud. Leave a like um, on, this, on this video. Subscribe to the channel, man, here at Android Stud. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. I love you guys so much. But that's gonna do it, man. I'm Android Stud. That is the Poco phone versus the Pixel 3. AXL.